Dean Linky joined by Kayla Sharples, the former All Big Ten Northwestern defender, now playing with the Red Stars. And we're talking Michigan women's soccer. I felt like I had the best seat in the house last year. Jennifer Klein, you are a great coach. Your team was amazing. And I feel like you're settling into Ann Arbor perfectly. Talk about how much you're enjoying your time with Michigan. Yeah, it's been unbelievable. The The work that we've been able to do in such a short period of time is a dream, really. Like uh, coming in, you, I knew that we had the foundation and, and the the players to, to be successful, but to be able to, to do it in the short period of time is, has honestly been amazing and just really excited to see what we're able to do with the program moving forward. Like Dean alluded to, um, you've just made such a big impact on this Michigan team. What changes did you make from your first season with them to just last year being your second season? And what do you think contributed to that success? Yeah, I think two of the biggest uh, factors that really changed it was one, just um, the work that we did from a, a culture standpoint and and really building and carving out time to work on the culture and, and the the team cohesiveness with, within that. Um, and I also think from a, a, a style of play, um, you know, we definitely, I'm more of a, a an attacking um, style of coach and, and get a lot of numbers forward. And I think in our first year, you know, what um, maybe uh, didn't allow for us to have as much success is learning how to defend in that type of, of style of play and getting caught a bit in moments of transition and, you know, going from year one to year two, learning how to defend um, while you're, you know, got a lot of numbers forward and, and you maybe have some creating better balance um, within our, our, our attack so that way we can deal with uh, that transition to defend. Um, and so I think those are two of the biggest uh, differences from year one to year two. And I also think the players just comfort level, you know, they, they saw the success was working. And, um, and so just when you can see that success uh, it, it's a lot easier to buy in and, and to feel confident in, in what they're doing. With that, Jen, we let the coaches pick who was going to be on. I love your pick because you get that you still need to have your alumni supporting the program. I also love your pick because there's not a better name than Shalina out there, Shalina Zadorsky, who also played for Canada. As we turn it over to Shalina, quick soundbite on why you picked her. Yeah, I, I think it's a player, you know, we haven't gotten a chance to meet in person, but have heard such unbelievable great things about her, um, you know, not only from other alums, but we have a current, you know, a teammate of hers in, in Jade Revere and, and, you know, just what she has to say about, about Shalina and just recognizing that there's a lot of great, um, you know, being a new coach and coming in um, and kind of you know, people think change, but it's also embracing the tradition and the greatness that that Michigan's had. And there's been a lot of really good players through here. And so just embracing um, those players, our past and, and highlighting that, you know, we're just adding to an already great program. How about that for a setup, Shalina? You were brilliant at Michigan, brilliant for Canada, still playing in the league. You got to be so proud of your alma mater and your time spent at Michigan. Absolutely. I mean, thank you so much for the kind words, Jen. I really appreciate that. It's nice to meet you finally via Zoom. Um, but no, I think just seeing um, the Michigan soccer team succeed at this level again, is it's so um, it's inspiring to see because for me, college feels like a long time ago. And just to see how impactful those years were for myself as, a, as an individual and as a footballer, and now to see those girls going through it with you and, and you leading the realm and, and bringing them back to the tournament and bringing them back to winning ways. I think that's so incredible. And I love what you speak about culture, because I think that's, that's a huge part of, of being a, a Wolverine. And I think that's a huge part that how we found success um, when I was there. So I think it's, it's so cool what you're doing. Shalina, you were the captain of your team your senior year, and you anchored a defense that conceded only 12 goals all season, which actually was a new program record. So how have you applied that leadership and that commitment to your professional career now? Yeah, I think um, I pride myself on being someone who's constantly evolving and, and learning from those around me. So I think when I was there, I was able to co-captain. And I think we had great leaders at Michigan um, and, and such a diverse gr group of, of leaders. So I was able to bounce ideas off them. I was able to communicate with them and kind of get the troops together and, and really um, hone in on what we were trying to achieve. So I think 
Um, my leadership style, I'm, I'm very communicative. I love to lead a back line. I, I love to work with my center backs and, and really get that partnership going. So I think um, that's what I've tried to bring into my pro career. And I've been fortunate to play with so many good players. Um, so I'm constantly learning and, and hopefully um, making a positive impact out there. What made you decide to go to college in the U.S. and then specifically why the University of Michigan to play soccer? So I had gone to the under 17 World Cup. That was my first, first um, youth World Cup with Canada. And that's actually where Greg Ryan had scouted me. And um, that's kind of where um, one of my best friends to date, uh, Kem Azurke, we both ended up looking at Michigan. And for me, um, it was such a great opportunity because of not only the athletics, but the academics at Michigan. And then as soon as I, I made the trip to Ann Arbor, I mean, I was hooked. It didn't really take much more than that. I just felt like it was such a good environment to learn. I love that it was a huge school. I, I love that about it. I think it's, you create a family within that, but then you have so much support around you. Um, so I have nothing, I, honestly, those four years are, they mean so much to me and um, it was an easy choice for me. And I think it's so cool to now watch Jen lead these girls and, and really impact their lives in a positive way. And Jen, I know you hit on hit on this a little bit earlier, but you haven't coached Shalina personally, um, but to know and to have someone of her caliber and her talent come from the Michigan program and have such success in the professional leagues. Um, what does that mean to the Michigan program? What does that mean to you? Is that motivation for your current girls? Can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah, I think it's, you know, anytime that you can see somebody that has a tie to your university, a tie to your program and has found a way to be successful and, you know, everybody's path is going to be slightly different and unique to them as an individual. But to see that Shalina has, you know, been able to have a, a, a great career and, and have it over across multiple leagues um, just shows that, uh, you know, to, to our young women, it is possible. And, and you know, you, you, can, you can be a, a Wolverine and, and have a professional career. And I, I think, you know, the other great um, experience that she has that really um, helps our, our young women is, is her involvement with the Canadian national team and to getting to see, a, you know, one of your alumni represent their country at, at the highest level within our sport. Um, it's just a sense of pride and a sense that, you know, if you can see somebody doing it, it gives you something to strive, th strive for um, and, and a bit of like uh, just confidence that it, it's definitely possible. And yeah. Jen, um, I was curious, why did you decide to make the move uh, to the Big Ten? What, what has been the biggest adjustment? And then alongside that, who have been your mentors then in this league that have kind of helped with that adjustment? Yeah, uh, I, I hear the winters here are great, so that's why I, I moved. Um, no, I, I, you know, I always knew that I was a, a head coach before going back and being an assistant coach and always knew that I wanted to go back and be a head coach. And, you know, I was part of a, a very good program and so felt like I could be really picky and, you know, um, had an opportunity to hear uh, Coach Hutch um speak about Michigan and the second I heard her and, and heard all the things about Michigan it, it was a program that it, I if it opened up it was going to be one that I wanted to go for and so very fortunate that uh, Michigan selected me to to be a part of the program and and to be the head coach and you know um, biggest adjustment honestly has has been a little bit of the weather but um, you know you you get here it's easy they they have indoor facilities so you're not out in it, but um, it's unbelievable. The, the resources, the support, um, the success of, of all the programs here, but you're trying to build um, a very good program into a, a great program and, and the foundations here to do it. So it, it, it's been a, a real pleasure. Make no mistake, tough winners or not, that M looks good on you, Jen. Don't you agree, Shalina? Looks good on her, right? Absolutely. I love how big it is right behind your yeah. head too. <laughs> yeah, you know it. Selena Zadorsky, Jen Klein, a rock star coach, and that's Michigan Big Ten women's soccer in 10.